navigation. So now that we've totally explored this, okay, and all these little things and what they mean, and that's how detailed I'm going to get throughout the series. You know, the first few are just watered down things, and then when I get into a topic, I can go right into more advanced stuff, um, even though it might be over your head a little bit. And then later on, you can always refer back to the video and say, oh, yeah, he was talking about that in chapter one. So here, let's make a new document and just keep it U.S. paper. So 300 dots per inch and hit OK. And we're going to talk about navigation. So my number one tool for navigation within Photoshop is the navigator. And how I use this is I can go in here and just, you know, click and drag on this little pyramid and it comes zooming in and out. Now, let's say I was drawing for a second. And what I wanted to do was navigate in just a little bit farther, and then you know I can quickly go in here and add more and more detail. Well, you know me going up to this navigator all the time is a huge workflow issue. You know what I mean? I'm I'm losing time here. You know, and let's say I was drawing some complex picture, I wouldn't want to say take the time to go over here and lose my train of thought. So. You can navigate a document by using Alt on the keyboard and middle mouse button. It's a little wheel and you can roll in and out, in and out. Okay. Another way to navigate a document is hit the space bar. The space bar allows you to go to the hand command, which allows you to page around. Throughout the series, I'm also going to show you the Wacon Drawing Tablet properties for things because it's very important that you know that a Wacon Drawing Tablet is one of the most powerful tools you can buy along with having Photoshop. So Wacom.com, you can uh, look at the various variant versions of Wacon Tablets. I'm using an Intos 4 tablet, which is black and it has 10, uh, 2048 levels of pressure. So when I click and drag I get a variance because of that fact okay and for everything that I do within Photoshop I can use and I'll cover this later but I can use the pen pressure on different things within Photoshop so now I can draw a thick line to a thin line so very powerful tool what's nice about it is you can also navigate the document by using this thing right here. So you can see that there's auto scroll zoom. So if I'm on this little wheel, I can quickly mouth or use my fingertip to zoom in and out of a document very quickly just by having it on that. So here's me zooming in and out using that. And if I want the hand command, well, I can go in here and say, well, what is hand? Hand is really alt on the key or space bar on the keyboard. And I don't have that. I have control. But if I really wanted that hand command to show up, I can go into my Wacon drawing tablet. And I can use one of these as a spacebar if I wanted to. And if it doesn't show up like spacebar, let's see, we got pan, radial, clicks, blah, 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 and it doesn't show up. Well, I can use it as a keystroke command and I can just hit spacebar. Okay, and hit OK. And we'll call this space. Also, I have to mount Photoshop in here in order for it to take advantage of that. So, even though it works quite well, now it'll work even better with this application mounted in here. So, now if I want the space bar, I don't have to ever touch the keyboard. I can just go in here and mouse around. I can zoom if I wanted to. And you notice it even has the ability for brush size. So, brush size, I can just switch it over to brush size and 
Now I never have to touch the keyboard ever again. Very powerful. So that is navigating a document using both the navigator, the keyboard, oh, and the weekend drawing tablet. So all three and combined with each other make for a very powerful workflow. Enjoy. Please move on to the next video.